All right, so as you can see here, we have this overall uh, low pass fader type of thing. And then the three drums have also have uh, low pass filters on them that are controlled by this uh, fader right here. All right, so firstly, you're gonna have to download uh, the app called Touch OSC under your iPad or iPod or iPhone, and then go ahead and open up something called Osculator, which you can download online. And the free version will actually work for what we're doing, so you don't have to buy a license if you don't want, but if you uh, do, you'd probably be helping out somebody who would appreciate it. So once you open that up, you're gonna, on uh, touch OSC on your iDevice, go ahead and hit where it says OSC and where it says found hosts. The interface is really intuitive um, and it'll make more sense if you have it in front of you. But just go ahead and connect it up to your computer and choose a layout. I use Mix iPad 2 and hit done. And then this big old array of all these different controls will come up and you can start wiggling one. And then you can see how they start to appear on touch OSC as you press them. So, okay, so I think I've got some form of mangled weird uh, beat going on here, but um, let me just run you through it real quick. So we have this unison, I'm gonna turn that off. Um, we have this synth, I guess, uh, pretty standard, and you can go ahead and Flip on this formant filter, which will automate. Um, that might be worth playing with. And then this beat, where you can kind of change it between a uh, super, super fast, uh, I guess like a dance beat, and then this slower, kind of more syncopated. So, oh, and I also put a low pass filter on the whole thing. So, let's go ahead and jump back to um, Osculator. And I'll show you guys how to get this controlling reason. So, go ahead and open up your preferences um, keyboards and control surfaces. Let me delete the ones I have. This one right here is just my. Uh, MIDI keyboard that doesn't have to do with anything. So go ahead and add one. We're going to do um, manufacturer's other, and you can leave that how it is, I suppose. We're going to name this OSC, oh, OSC out, and the um, MIDI input is actually going to be the output of this oscillator instance running over here. Go ahead and hit OK, and then you're ready to go. So. Um, I don't know what uh, what setup of osculator you chose to use, but on mine there's this big old fader, and when I wiggle it, this fader three, this slash one slash fader three comes up. So we're gonna do a, a MIDI continuous control. We're gonna go ahead and set that onto zero, I suppose, um, and come over, edit remote override mapping. And you can actually just hit learn from control surface input and wiggle it. And if you uh, if that wasn't working for some reason, you just do oscillator out. And then continuous control on channel zero. And then hit OK. And as I move that on my iPad, it'll actually change in real time along with reason. So let's go ahead and try this formant filter. Actually, let's do this one really quick the, uh, to swap between the two. Let's go ahead and let me find a push button. All right, that one looks good right there. And do a, uh, we're gonna do a MIDI toggle this time and run it through. We're gonna jump down to channel three. You'll see why in a second. So oscillator out. And why I didn't do two and one or two is because for some reason it skips them right here and it actually uses one of these things called breath or sometimes it comes up as keyboard. I just like to skip to three. Go ahead and hit okay. 
Oh, whoops. <laughs> I edited the wrong thing. I didn't mean to do it on that. I meant to do it up here. We can do oscillator out and then choose channel 3. Continuous control 3. And as I change that, it'll change this. So, we also have this XY fader. So we can go ahead and um, move this around in the Y and see that number 2 is going to come up. Um, I can actually rename this Y just for remembering. Or, yeah, so we can do those both MIDI continuous controls. So we're going to do 4 and 5. Go ahead and the X one we want to be number 4. And the Y one we want to be number 3. Oh, I'm at 5. And that's not in use, so toggle that on. And the reason we had to use a toggle is because if we hadn't, we would have had to hold that button down the whole time while we wanted to use the formant filter, which can be useful in some cases, but not this one, because it's nicer just to have it on a toggle. Another one I might want to do would be um, this one, let's see, so let me do this real quick, on six. But it's totally up to you um, on what you want your what do you what you want to control for your own uh, musical genius isness. But yeah, basically anything that you can edit remote override mapping, you can control in real time using your uh, device. Um, you can also use your Wiimote if you. I think I have a video up on that actually, but that's a whole different beast to tackle in and of itself. So. Yep, that's all I got. Thanks, guys.